Hello, this is a video I've wanted to do for a bit. Um, I've seen a lot of talk about torches and I know we get a lot of guys asking about what different types are out there and what people recommend. And I actually finally hit the point where I have one of pretty much all the different types that people bring up pretty regularly. And there's a lot of videos on how to use individual torches out there, but I don't think I've seen one that compares the different ones, especially for the kind of work we're using them for on refrigerators. So, figured I'd put one together. What we've got, starting on the small end, is a Smith Jewelers torch, which is gonna have a very tiny flame. This is the largest tip I have for it, which is a five. Um, it comes in a box like that. I keep this one as a backup torch, just in case anything happens to my main one. This is an oxyacetylene torch. You can get them as a kit on Amazon, both as the individual torch itself or as a torch kit, which includes the regulators. Uh, these are my own regulators and not the ones that would come with this. Um, also this one, I bought this as, I think it was either a knockoff or it might've been a factory second. It was only 34 bucks without the regulators just for the handle and the tips, which is incredibly cheap on Amazon. And um, the reason I think it's either a knockoff or a fan or a factory second is because the threads in the oxygen side here are really junky and you kind of got to really use a wrench to get them on tight there or else it doesn't want to just spin freely on. Next step up from that is the Smith Quick Braze. This looks pretty close. It's actually just a touch bigger. Um, the handle size is a touch bitter, bigger. It's oxyacetylene. The tip is bigger and this is meant for tubing. This is the torch I use pretty much every day and I really like this thing. Um, comes with a couple different tips. I have two of the other ones here. This is a twin tip. I'd love to demonstrate this one, but I never really use this one. It just, I don't really like the twin tip style. And when I went to test it, found that it won't let gas through one side, so it doesn't light real well. So I can't really show you how this looks running. But what I do have and what I do use, I used to use it a lot more. Um, I don't use it as much now, but this is a five flame C tip. All the flames come out one side to a point and it's designed to slip around the tube. Um, it brazes pretty darn quick. And also the flame goes in the same direction as the tube, which means anything on this side of the handle stays very cool. So in certain situations, this is very useful in tight spaces. Unlike with the regular torch tip, you have the flame perpendicular to what you're brazing. So it's gonna have a lot of heat going this way. Um, we're gonna do a joint with all of these, um, not the twin tip, but with the five flame tip, the jewelers, the quick braze. Moving up from there, this is a pretty standard size Victor style handle with a number two tip. This is actually the torch I got when I first started doing appliance repair. I got it off of Craigslist. Um, it was the torch handle, the, the brazing tip here, and a set of regulators, two bottles, and a holder. And I think I paid like 120 bucks for it, which was a really good deal. This is a pretty sturdy torch. It is much bigger than the Quick Braze or that uh, little jeweler's torch. And it puts out a lot more heat. So it's kind of interesting in that regards too. And up from that, and that's oxyacetylene as well. And then up from that, the torch that I just got recently, again, another... Well, this one was a Facebook marketplace find. This is a turbo torch. This is a pretty old one actually, but I paid 50 bucks for the torch in the tank along with the regulator, so I can't complain. Um, this only uses one tank, draws acetylene through here, which it has a little venturi, and the acetylene blowing through this draws air in, which is how it gets oxygen. This won't get as hot as the oxyacetylene torches, which I'll be able to show you here. Um, it gets plenty hot enough to braise. It's a little harder to melt tubing, which is obviously something we want to avoid. So that sometimes can be handy. The tip I have for it's pretty big. They make smaller tips. They make tips that angle the flame back towards you. Uh, this is what I had that came with it. It works for this demonstration, but keep in mind, there's other tips you can get out there. Now, I'm not a big fan of turbo torches. It's nothing against them. It's just, I got really used to oxyacetylene. 
The one big gripe I have with them is I feel like they have a lot of excess flame coming out this end. Even though it's not as hot as the oxyacetylene, it still puts out a lot of flame and inside a small space inside of a fridge that can get a little interesting. I'm trying to do all the explanation first because the last, or what I found when trying to record this is if you talk while the torch is on, the uh, phone I'm recording it on really makes a, it, it hashes up the audio and it's really hard to hear anything. So what I'm trying to do is get the explanation in for all of this and then I'm gonna go through and what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna make a joint with the jeweler's torch and then I'm gonna show you what it takes to melt tubing with it to kind of give you an idea of the heat output. I'm going to do a joint with the quick braze, then with the five flame tip, then with the regular Victor handle, and then with the turbo torch. Um, each time I melt this, I'm gonna cut the tip off so that the next one is starting on fresh tubing. Otherwise it blobs up and then it isn't really a fair example. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of everything I wanna cover with this. These smaller torches, you wanna save the manuals for them it is really important to get the regulator set to the right pressure. There's not a lot of mass in those and the flame can actually back up into the handle and it starts heating the handle up if your pressures are too far off. The larger torch is, you still wanna avoid that, but it's more, it's, it, it's got a lot more mass to it. It takes a lot more to start heating this handle up. You kind of really got to have this thing going wrong and it's a lot more forgiving. These ones, if you have it too far out of range, it can get real hot in a hurry. Um, turbo torch, I don't think can do that, but like I said, I don't really use them a whole lot. So hope, perhaps someone who uses it a lot more can weigh in on that. Um, speaking of flame backing up into things, these are flame arresters. If you have these little torches, they're a good idea to pick up a set. If flame somehow did get into the tubing and worked its way back, that prevents it from getting into the tank which if it gets into the tank, it's gonna ruin your day. The larger handles, the larger size torches, usually have them built in flashback arresters, but it's still not a terrible idea to have a set on your tank. They're cheap and I mean, my understanding is worst case scenario, if it all went absolutely horribly wrong, you'd get flame inside of the tank and the tank could explode, which is bad. Uh, I don't have one on this quick braid or on the turbo torch, but I don't really, I got it because the price was right and I wanted to mess around with it. I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be using that regularly in the field. If I do, I'm going to get a flashback arrestor for it if it needs one. Um, the connections on these. There are different sizes of connections for torch uh, hoses. This is the larger size. is I think an A size. The turbo torch connection here is a B size. The reason that's important is because the quick braze kit and some of the jeweler's torches have the B size ones. And so you have to pick up a A to B adapter, which are pretty easy to find. Um, I got these at a welding store, welding supply. Otherwise you can order them online, but just be aware if you get a torch and you are trying to set it up with regulators that you already have, and it comes in and it's all sorts of weird, there's adapters for that. Also, um, I know a couple people that said they'll use a turbo torch, but put an adapter on it and run it off of an MC tank so that they don't have to carry as much weight around because the 40 cubic foot uh, B tanks are kind of heavy. So if you don't want to carry a lot of weight around, that's probably as light as you're going to get with it is running a turbo torch off of an MC acetylene tank. Um, most of these torches can be bought as kits with the regulators. Otherwise you can pick them up separately. I bought these regulators to replace the set that came with my Victor, uh, which finally the regulator started to drift. So you would have it just suddenly change pressure while you were using it. These are medium duty Smith regulators. And if you're looking to buy regulators, keep in mind the pressure range you're gonna be using. I bought these because I thought medium duty meant that they were like heavier duty or more sturdy than the light duty ones. And learned later that actually it has less to do with how well it's built and more to do with what size torch it's gonna be used with. So this scale goes from zero up to 150 PSI, and I rarely use more than 10 PSI, so I almost, it's really interesting setting this sometimes. The acetylene one, that really isn't a problem. So just if you're looking at regulators, keep that in mind. All right, I am going to, like I said, we're going to go through and do a joint with each torch and melt the copper. 
We're using 15% uh, braze, uh, spark starter. I got pliers to clip the uh, excess off as we melt it. So at this point, I'm gonna hook my phone up on a stand and we're gonna go at it. And hopefully I don't forget a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to say that I'll think of halfway through this. If I do, I'll add it after we do the brazing. Oh, one thing with the turbo torch, it draws air in because of that, it is loud. It's a lot louder than a regular torch. It's just kind of a weird thing about those. And you'll probably notice that on the video. Um, some of these pop a bit when I light them. It's because I don't use the other sizes too much. and I'm a little out of practice, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. That's pretty good. One thing with that that you might notice is you kind of want to move it around a lot so that you get even heat around the joint. It's a very small, very precise flame. I'm going to try and hold them all up lit so you can kind of get an idea for the length of it. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to switch this handle and hoses off with the quick brace here, which is going to take just a second. A little bit longer flame than that jeweler's torch. don't have to move that one around as much since it puts out a little bit bigger flame than that little teeny tiny jeweler's torch. Now I'm going to swap the tip and show you what the five flame tip looks like on it.
This one, the flame, like I said, it's from five points, so it surrounds the tube. Really hoping this audio comes through. And anything on the opposite side of that doesn't hardly see any heat at all, which is why I can leave my hand here without burning the living daylights out of myself. Don't want to put it on the other side. Still quite possible to melt the tubing if you're not careful with that. Now, this actually gets set to lower pressures than the other ones, but since the hoses are a large diameter, this sees a lot more gas and puts out a lot more heat. Right, and the last turbo torch I already have hooked up, so that one I just need to turn on. All right, not the prettiest joints, pretty blobby, but this is fun to do on camera. Anyway, hope that gives you an idea of the differences between these.
trying to think if there's anything I wanted to add. Uh, you'll need a tank wrench for your acetylene, or if you don't like the wrench, because they have this little square adapter. Every once in a blue moon, you'll swap one out and get a tank with a knob, but most of them you need the wrench. Or if you want, I like these, which is a little magnetic knob called a mag knob that just slips on top of it. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hope this helps. Have a good one, guys. After reviewing the video, I realized that when I did the five flame tip, I had my hand in the way or my arm so you couldn't see anything. So I'm going to try one quick joint with this. Got it hooked back up with the pressure set and then see if I can combine the videos through the magic of video editing. So here it goes. hopefully a lot better. We'll see if we can add this on.